When I was a kid, nothing was more terrifying than a scorpion. Armed with menacing pinchers, capable of skittering up walls, and topped off with a venomous stinger, these eight-legged arachnids were textbook examples of a living nightmare. Tonight we are back in Arizona, the scorpion capital of the Southwest, and I am carefully rummaging around in the debris that surrounds an abandoned gold mine. So, a normal flashlight is perfect for seeing things like Gila monsters, snakes, and tarantulas. But when it comes to finding scorpions, the best tool that you can use is a black light. That coloration will cause these arachnids to luminesce, and all of this wood is the perfect spot for us to search for that creepy crawly. Before you know it, a scorpion will magically appear. Oh, right there, look at that. Giant desert hairy scorpion right on the edge of that pipe. Luminescing, that is perfect. You just turn a corner like that, and probably the last thing most people want to see is a giant desert hairy scorpion, but that is exactly what we were looking for. This is not a species that has a super toxic sting. It's about equivalent to a honeybee. And I can pick this up with my fingers, but I want to get it right where the telson meets that first knuckle of the tail. It is a delicate little balance. And oop, you stop right there. And I don't want to get stung in the process. Let's see. Stay. It's so nerve wracking to pick up one of these arachnids. You have to commit. Got it. Ah! So the pinchers won't do you much harm. It's really just that stinger that you have to watch out for. But it's such a cool thing, the way that they luminesce. Check that out. Just glowing bright yellowish green. The body's actually very, very rigid. You may think that the scorpion is squishy, but this exoskeleton is very, very hard. So by holding it at this spot right here where the tail meets the telson, the telson is where all the venom is kept that then runs into the stinger. It is causing this animal no discomfort in any way whatsoever. These scorpions are feasting on a variety of small insects, other arachnids. They have these front pinchers, which they use to grab onto their prey, and then they will swing that stinger forward and inflict a sting, inject that venom, and that's how they neutralize their prey. And they do get bigger than this, and a larger giant desert hairy will even take things like small rodents. Now there are three very distinct scorpion species that are here in the southwest. The giant desert hairy, which is the largest, the striped-tailed scorpion, which is rather small, and then the bark scorpion. The bark scorpion is the most potent, and a sting from that scorpion will, without question, put you in the hospital. On a scale of one to five, when it comes to potency of this potentially dangerous desert dweller, I would only rank the giant desert hairy as a two. It is not something that's going to kill you. For the most part, these arachnids want to be left alone. And unless you try to interact with them, it's unlikely that you will ever feel the wrath of their sting. Scorpions. You don't want to live with them, but you have to admit, they are pretty cool creatures. 